Hello, I'm Jennifer. Today's video is going to be how to decorate above your headboard. Be sure to stay to the end of the video because I have some great tips on how to choose wall decor. So let's get started. So for the first idea of something to put above your bed, you could choose a unique architectural piece. Now my go-to place to shop is flea markets, my favorite, um, also antique stores. And the piece above my bed is one I found at the flea market for $40. It was a dark wood, but I chalk painted it um, and added just a coat of polyurethane over the top. So there's a couple reasons why I chose this piece. One, of course, it has flowers in it. The detail of it is beautiful. I love flowers. But the second reason was, um, for me personally, it has a little significance because I grew up playing the piano. So if you're looking for something above your bed, you want to save a budget, architectural pieces are the way to go. So for the second idea is to put some artwork above your bed and to do two pieces. And that way you're kind of splitting the difference of the space above the headboard. Now, I want to talk to you about the artwork that's above my bed right now. Um, it's Cole's and it's her DIY project. You guys have met Cole before and I'm going to let her tell you about this. So my first question is, where did you get the inspiration on how to do this project? Well, I had seen some art that I really loved that mm -hmm. was similar to this with, yeah. um, the little shells and the oversized mat mm -hmm. and I loved it and it was incredibly expensive. Okay. So um, <laughs> so on our last beach trip as a family, um, my husband and my son found some seashells Okay. and um, I knew that it was something that I wanted to frame and, you know, keep those memories and, you know, have something from that season together. And so I thought to frame the shells similarly to how I saw the You art. saw it in this. It, yeah. Okay. And so that's such a great idea too, because I mean, how many of us have gone to the beach and we have the seashells and we either stuck them in a jar somewhere mm -hmm. or they're in a drawer somewhere. What a fabulous way to display that. And like you said, every time you look at it, it's a memory. Yeah. It's a memory of a sweet season that I don't want to forget. And we have it forever. Oh, I just love that. And so I noticed, um, the shells and the back of the shells is that a gray mat and you just ask them to gray mm -hmm. put the gray mat behind it yeah um, I okay. did a custom framing at Michael's or they have it at Hobby Lobby and I did the gray mat so it would contrast with the white shell that's so smart and do they glue the shells on or did you have to do that nope they did everything really and they spaced them all out yep, okay I like somebody everything. else doing the math yeah <laughs> okay <laughs> that is perfect yeah. okay well I want to say thank you for sharing that idea what a great um, DIY project and like you saved a ton of money too yeah okay <laughs> So for the third idea, I'm really extra excited about this one. Um, I carry a vendor in our store that does a lot of signs, word signs, and we've become friends. And I contacted her and asked if she could do three different sayings that will be JD's exclusives. And she agreed to do it. Um, they're on our online store. The one I chose uh, today that I wanted to show you is one of my favorite quotes. Any day spent with you is my favorite day. So today is my new favorite day. The other two um, sayings are perfect for a bedroom, so you'll have to check out my online store. Let me share with you my tips on how to choose wall decor for a room. So I like to have continuity in a room, but I also like to have variance on each wall. And what I mean by that is, so if I put, say I have a mirror on one wall, so on the next wall, maybe I'll have a bigger piece of artwork, so then on the next wall, I might do two smaller pieces of artwork and either hang them staggered or one on top of each other. And then for that fourth wall, I might choose some word art like we showed in the video. This is a great way to not have repetition in the room. I hope you enjoyed these tips and I hope they're helpful. So be sure to check out my online store. I'm going to put a link in the description. I'm also going to put a link to Cole's Instagram. She has some fabulous ideas. You need to go check her out. Don't forget to subscribe. I'm going to have a new video out shortly and I hope you have a great day.